snack time, bitches. Everyone likes game day snacks, but considering there's not really any sports being played right now, the, the, what are you supposed to do? Well, just because that there are no sports being played right now doesn't mean you can't have your favorite game day snacks. And what is the best game day snack? Stuffed jalapenos, green onions, shredded cheese, bacon, cream cheese, Smokies, and jalapenos. Let's get into it, bitches. First thing you wanna do is turn your oven to 375 degrees to start preheating. Now let's start preparing these hoes. Cutting board. We're gonna need a bowl, preferably a large one because you're gonna have to mix some of the stuff. And let's go ahead and wash all these jalapenos. Let's get a separate bowl for that. Pour them all in and rinse. Water is only getting everywhere. A knife. Let's cut off the tail, uh, those bits. Throw them away. Hopefully, I am making it into the sink. If not, well, that's gonna suck to clean up. I think all of them made it into the sink, actually. We could actually use this bowl still because we also have to gut these bitches. Stick your knife in. Be careful though. And just, uh, oh, okay, don't do that. Okay, we gotta gut these bitches, so you want to just kind of slice right down the middle like that, and then they'll just open right up like that. And take out all the seeds and guts and all that stuff. If you have a brush, that'd make, that makes it easier. I don't have one of those. I just split this one in total half. So, uh, this one isn't gonna turn out too good. But whatever. You fucking piece of shit. Well, that one's the experiment one, I guess. Take this and do it again on this one. Wow. Just put your finger in there and bleh. Get all those seeds out as much as you can. I wonder if I could just, can I rinse those out? Yeah, actually rinsing them out works. It looks like that, that was a hell of a lot easier. Also don't be sure to not rub your eyes or anything while you're doing this because you're going to have a bad time if you do that. Don't pick your nose either. I mean, probably shouldn't pick your nose anyways, but uh, you know, don't do it while you're doing this particularly. All right, all those are cleaned out. Don't need all that. That's gonna be a mess to clean up. Those can stay right there. Now we move to the cream cheese. Take it out of its packaging. And in order to work with it good and mix it up, you gotta soften it up. I think that's probably soft enough. Ew, it's like a, it's like a patty of, patty of white, grossness and bleh. Clean off the uh, green onions. Chop them up. Probably don't actually need that many. Actually, no, I know I don't need that many. And actually it should be cut much smaller, much smaller than this. But you know what? Whatever, that's fine. It'll still be delicious. Now it's on to the cheese. Most people use cheddar cheese for applications such as this, but I got a Gouda cheese because it makes Gouda filling. If I, if I could open the damn thing. My hands are wet. Ah! Ah! I didn't think about the fact that um, my hands have been touching jalapenos and I did that and I tried to do it with my mouth. Ah! I got jalapeno uh, acid or whatever, capsaicin, fucking... My mouth is burning! And dump some of that in. I don't know how much, just until it looks good, I guess. 
Now mix that all, mix it all up. Make sure you have clean hands too, by the way. Keep, keep your hands washed, people, especially with everything going on. You know, keep your hands washed, please. Err, 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 err. <laughs> I think that's mixed enough. All right, let's start filling these up. I don't think I have enough for tin, honestly, but we'll, we'll just see how much I have. I'm doing it just like a little bit right there because I'm also, fuck man, because I'm also going to use these hatch pepper uh, cocktail smokies. This, this knife is just totally dirty now. Put these little bitches in there. This, it's like, just like that, sure. Why Why the fuck not? And uh, just keep stiffing them. I think I'm, I'm, I'm like gonna do like six, six or seven. I don't know, I might have enough to do all 10. I have 10 peppers. I might have enough to do 10. If not, mm, I mean, it's not like it's the end of the world. Oh man, this looks so gross. This looks so gross. Like, I, I'm only making this for me. You know, so I having using my filthy, you know, own hands isn't really that big of a deal. But if you're making this for other people, uh, uh, please, please use gloves. I've actually never had a stuffed pepper with a little smoky in it, so I'm excited to see how it turns out. It might turn out amazing. It might be awful. For that matter, I've never had a stuffed pepper with gouda cheese in it either uh so that might be good or bad too you know also i've i've never made stuffed peppers so the whole thing just the whole thing is a mystery to me right now as far as how these are going to turn out i mean it seems simple enough you know you just stuff these you know you just stuff these dang things with cream cheese and cheese and shit and and then you wrap them in bacon and bake the fucking thing so I mean can't be that hard right I can't mess it up that badly I don't think okay I guess I did have enough filling to to do all these and put some a little bit of filling on top or uh, I don't know no no fuck Fuck that. We're we're just going we're going live. We're we're gonna let it ride. Dang, it's getting hot in here because of the damn oven. Baking pan. And to make our lives easier for cleanup later, let's just go ahead and uh, line it with some foil. If I can <coughs> if I can get it out. The fumes in the air are making me cough hardcore. Holy crap, I've never been able to rip that straight before. Now for the application of bacon. I also got hatch bacon for this too, so hopefully this will be really spicy. Um, it's hatch season, in case you couldn't tell. That's why I got all this hatch stuff. All right, um, just, just wrap it, wrap it like that, and just fucking Put it down. Yep, that, that that's what it looks like. <laughs> these these uh, stuff, these poppers just look, they look chonky. They look, they look super chonky. And it doesn't help that this bacon's thick cut and everything, but damn, do these look chonky. My dog smells bacon in the air, so she's coming to say hi to me. You can't have any. No, no, no. Stop licking your lips. You're not getting any of this bacon. Wait a minute. I thought I had 10 jalapenos. Did one of them fly off and die somewhere? These look more like flavor grenades than anything else. Now, new at your local grocery store, flavor grenades by Numbers. 
Okay, last one. And then we put these <coughs> in the oven. Golly, this fumes. <coughs> Don't cough like that in public, please. Remember, when you need to cough, don't forget to dab. Defense against bacteria. <coughs> See, it works. <coughs> All right, now it's time to put these in the oven. 375 degrees for 22, whoops, for 20, to 30 minutes. Fine. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. There we go. That looks good. That looks good. Now we gotta, we gotta let these uh, cool down a bit. I actually ended up going for um, about 27 minutes or something like that because it's chunky super chunky bacon uh, but I mean, it looks looks super good I, this one kind of uh, oh oh actually um well they kind of fell out but I'm sure they'll still be delicious we gotta let these cool for like I don't know like 10 minutes or some shit or you could be a fucking idiot like me and uh Eat it anyways. Let's see. Let's push this one. Put you back in. Uh, I should have had some toothpicks or something to hold these together, but you know, whatever. This isn't working. That, that didn't work at all. Yeah, that bacon's not cooked all the way. Okay, with this chunky bacon, I'm gonna have to figure something else out. Use regular bacon, don't use thick cut, I guess, because this thick cut isn't working out so well uh, for this particular thing. So I'm going to actually try something else. For the sake of the video, instead of waiting for another, I don't know, 20 minutes or some crap like that, uh, I'm just gonna try air frying uh, a couple of these and uh see how that turns out hopefully it'll turn out really well god dang this is this is awful this is not turning out nearly as well as i had hoped fuck just okay let's try this so put the bacon down here and then boom that's that's right that's right bitch i'm smarter than you i'm smarter than you cunt Five more minutes, six minutes. What's the worst that could happen? Try the filling at least. I could, I could try that and see. All right, cream cheese. Spicy cream cheese. Fuck that spicy, actually. Oh! Ah! I, I left my drink in the other room. Ah! Ah, that helps. The rest of these, let's just go ahead and shove these fucks back in the oven for like another 10 minutes or something. But the video ones is going to be these ones in the air fryer, whether if they turn out good or not. Ready yet? They look ready to me. Lesson learned, everyone. Don't use thick cut bacon for poppers. It's a bad idea. No, turn off. Shut up. Turn it off. I'll stab you. Let's just, ow, fuck. That hurts. Let's try, try, fuck. Try a little bit of this bacon. I'm fucking bacon. The jalapenos are just nice and soft, with the exception of the skin, but the skin's always, you know, a little tough. Let's just wait for these to cool down a little bit, I guess. I bet if I had had like a rack to put on top of the baking sheet, Maybe like the fat would have dripped down better and everything and they would have cooked better and all that, but kind of too late for that now. Let's see if I can just kill this thing somehow. I don't know. What am I saying? What am I doing? Fuck. Okay, no. Screw this. 
Oh, come on. Don't slide out of the bacon. Don't... Don't friggin... Don't friggin' slide out. Okay. Okay. Please don't be, like, ungodly hot. I'm worried I'm gonna burn myself. Okay, the sausage, the little smoky in there is really good. Too bad I didn't really get anything else. Oh boy, it's hot. Let me try the other end. Oh God, this is a nightmare. Mmm. Ah. Mmm. Okay, I got a little taste of everything on that one. That was really good, actually. Um, can I pick it up with my hand at this point? Maybe. Yeah, I can. I can, at least. I don't know about y'all, but I can. I'm not a weenie. That's good as fuck. Like I said, use regular cut bacon. Don't use the thick cut. Thick cut didn't cook as well and everything. But other than that, these are absolutely fantastic. The... A little sausage in there really adds a little extra in there. These are great. That's all I got for y'all today. Thanks for watching everyone. Truly do appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Twitch channel and everything. And uh, I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.